wake of the catastrophic terror attack on America's energy infrastructure, the President has instructed me to activate NSPD-51 to ensure continuity of government. Key government and military personnel will be reporting to secure sites around the country, many of them on a rotating basis, to provide resources to keep our government, military, and services functioning as needed in the face of the upcoming American blood and American dust events. The President will not be taking any questions at this time. Thank you. So that's the only entrance. Check secondary defenses. Grim, are you a line open to the President yet? Yeah, but uh, they won't take our call. They what? Hang on. I got the president's aid. I'm sorry. The president is occupied with an urgent matter and won't be able to speak with you. Tell her it's fourth echelon. She knows. Sorry. Look, I know you think you're special because you sip lattes with the POTUS, but I have a lot of friends on Capitol Hill. Are you threatening me? No. Get me the president if you ever want to work in D.C. again. Now I'm threatening you. President Caldwell. We believe the Site F bunker under Denver Airport is Sadiq's target. Was. He had sleeper agents at the bunker. Sadiq has control of the bunker and he's claimed it's wired with chemical weapons. We can be there in two hours. No, I'm sending you home. What? We have the situation in control. Delta set up a perimeter around the bunker. Sadiq is receptive to talks. If we meet his conditions... And since when does the United States negotiate with terrorists? He has captured top government and military officials, including the Secretary of Defense. Extortion isn't Sadiq's endgame. It's too simple, too small. Unfortunately, the free world isn't run on instinct. Your hands are tied. Mine aren't. I did not give you the fifth freedom to engage in a personal vendetta. We have the situation in hand. You're walking into a trap! Let me be very clear. All planes, including Paladin, are grounded. The Air Force has orders to fire on anything on approach to Denver. We have to get to Denver and take Sadiq out. And I can't do this on my own. Go for Denver. Go for Denver. Go for Denver. Grim, what are our chances against Denver's anti-aircraft defenses? They're getting heavy snow. We'll use it for cover and spin in steep on approach. I'll need Charlie's help with countermeasures. Sure, Grim. Whatever you need. What? Repeat that. Sam, the pilot's refusing to fly to Denver. Relieve him of duty. Bring Coleman up. You're outnumbered and outgunned. And losing the hostages is not an option. Your best chance of success comes with gas grenades and the tri-rotor. Good luck. Coleman, what's our status? My FF has us lit up like a goddamn Christmas tree. I'll handle electronic countermeasures. You just get us on the ground. We're gonna get real close. Delta is closing on our position and ready for a fight. Well, that could be a problem. You locate the secondary targets? Yes, there's a control area with access to environmental communications and defenses. I tweaked the engineer virus and made copies in the flash drives I gave you. Plug one into each system and the bunker will lock down. We also have a lead on Sadiq's real target. Their system is totally self-contained except for one thing here. When continuity of government is triggered, all key military and government intel is backed up to the bunker. That's what Sadiq's after. We're trying to get word to the president. They could be monitoring radio traffic. We do this silent. Buckle up, kids. We're under their radar. They're gonna get us killed. Now for the front fire. Lights out. I'm dropping the gear. Good to go. Let's move.
Hey, it's Charlie. We've seen Delta's boarding the plane, and I don't have long. You need to head for the fake weather station. It handles the bunker's climate control. Find a way to cut through the vent, and you'll be inside the bunker. Then plug in those three flash drives I gave you. Get the virus into their systems. After that, you gotta get into the crawl space under the war room. You can activate the lockdown sequence from there. Hey, hey guys, uh, not armed, not armed. I'm a civilian, not armed.
Rachel got a camera. Spread out and search. You got it. Funny man.
Any luck finding him? now. Whatever it takes. I've got it. Freeze! Hold it right there! Why isn't there circulating? Do you copy? Ventilation is offline. Don't give me problems. Give me solutions. Give me an update on the hostages. Now. We both know that you will give us what we want. I'm not giving you access. You could destroy America. Start a world war. But I'm not interested in wars. I'm after the only weapon that matters anymore. Information. Just relax. Relax. It's not your decision to make. The only thing you have to choose is how much it hurts before you do what you're asked. Screw you. You've got someone in the bunker. He's special forces. Take the ring finger. No, 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 no! You are very tenacious. Where's Fisher? Right behind you. You gonna take me hostage in the war room? <laughs> Communicating with your team. What'd you take me for? Hold him still. <laughs> I was never one for subdermal radios. Too invasive. I have your colleague, Mr. Fisher. Leave us to our work, and I'll see that he lives. Bring him. Fisher will never leave him behind. Get the hostages ready to move. Bravo. We're bringing the hostages to the tunnel. Oh, oh God. 
God. Oh, oh, please help me. What is wrong with you? He's going to bleed to death. Pass me that tunicate. fingers, he will take your toes, he will take your teeth! I'll give you what you want. I could have saved yourself a hand. Now transfer the files. Don't, you can't! You have not thought this one through. You won't risk shooting him. Why? Because you're gonna kill him? We both know you don't have that in you. I'm sorry. No! your plane. Yes. Get him up. <laughs> this is Majid Sadiq, leader of the men in control of the bunker at Site F. We are exiting with our hostages. They will be released if we are allowed to leave safely. Any aggression on your part will result in executions. Give them to me. Careful. There are snipers out there just waiting for you to make a stupid mistake.
Now, where's he gone? that stand behind the engineers. Behind me? Are you ready to fight 12 wars? Kill me. Kill me! Those nations will rise up. Put me on trial. And I will spill every secret I know. I've already won! There's always another option. So how many rounds does this thing hold? It's 20 rounds in your basic magazine. Get your finger out of the guard, you're gonna put a hole in the plane. Relax. Hey, Briggs. What's that? Uh, my gun? Yeah, what's he doing out of his cage? Hey, it's nice to see you too, Briggs. Just give me some weapons intel. It's like I'm part of the team now, huh? Yeah, you keep telling yourself that, Kobe. Welcome back, Briggs. Good to see you too, Grim. So what's up? They're making it official. And the United States has conducted an operation that has killed Majid Sadiq, the leader of the terrorist organization known as the Engineers. First time I talked to a dead man. Who are you? We're gonna start from the top. We give thanks to the brave men and women who work tirelessly to bring these terrorists to justice. The world will never know their work. Their names will be lost to history. But their sacrifice will never be forgotten. Is 
Sam, I think Charlie's got some new gear he's working on. Hey, Dad. Hey, kiddo. How are you? I'm all right. I think I just got rid of the last of the turkey leftovers. Avoiding them was my plan all along. Things are getting back to normal? Slowly. Gas is still through the roof. A couple of airlines are in trouble. About what you'd expect. But nobody's throwing bricks through coffeehouse windows anymore? Not anymore. Oh, that's good to hear. Look, I, I gotta go, kiddo. Take care of yourself. Yeah, you too, Dad.